In this video, I'll show you how to use your HANA alkalinity tester to dial in the exact amount of Tropic Marin Alpha Reef that's required to keep your tank at a specific level of alkalinity. Alpha Reef is available in powdered or liquid form and is a one part solution to add calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, and trace elements to your tank. Since Alpha Reef is a one part solution, it can be dispensed by a single Chemower X1 doser. This device is operated by Bluetooth using an app on your phone. Using the app, you can dispense a fixed amount of solution or schedule automated dosing ahead of time. I will walk you through how to use the app for several functions later in the video. There are three steps required to arrive at your tank's alkalinity needs. The first step is to get your tank to a stable, desired level of alkalinity. Step two is to measure your tank's alkalinity use over the course of a week. And the third step is to do some calculations and set an automated dosing schedule. Let's get familiar with the HANA alkalinity test kit. The colorimeter device comes with several glass curettes that are used to test the water. A syringe allows you to measure exactly one milliliter of reagent, which colors the water based on the alkalinity level. Alkalinity is measured in degrees of carbonate hardness, or DKH. First, we'll use the HANA alkalinity checker to tell us what the DKH is in the tank. 10 milliliters of tank water is added to the curette. Then the device is turned on. A reading of C1 indicates the control measurement is ready to be taken. This means putting water in a curette that has not had reagent added yet. This sets a baseline so that the checker knows what truly clear water looks like versus the water that will have color added after the reagent is added to the vial. Exactly one milliliter of reagent is added to the curette. This changes the color of the water. The degree of color change is what's actually measured by the device to show us what the DKH is. After a little mixing, place the curette in the device and push the button and wait for the measurement. This quickly returns a measurement of 11.1. This is a high reading for most tanks. However, it's exactly where I want my DKH to be. That's because this is my Acropora tank and Acropora grow very quickly at DKH of 11. It's also the reading given by my salt mix when I prepare new salt water. This brings us to step one where we establish stable alkalinity. In my case, the salt mix establishes a stable level of alkalinity. However, you may want to increase yours before continuing the process. To do that, we open the Chemour X1 app and select Manual on the bottom left. Every day, you can manually add additional alpha reef to bring the alkalinity up higher. In this example, we're adding eight milliliters to the tank, and we will test again in two days' time to see where the resulting DKH is. Note it can take a day or two for Alpha Reef to make a measurable change to alkalinity. Once your desired alkalinity level is reached, we can move to step two, which is to measure how much alkalinity your tank consumes. To do that, we will not add any Alpha Reef to the tank for one week and compare our initial reading of 11.1 .1 to a reading taken one week later. Corals will uptake calcium and alkalinity and we will measure how much is remaining after one week. Our second test indicates DKH of 9.3. This is a change of 1.8 DKH over the course of one week. For our corals to continue to grow, we'll have to replace 1.8 DKH per week. That brings us to step three, which is to calculate how much alpha reef is necessary and program the dosing pump to add that on a regular basis. Here's the base formula. The DKH consumed during our one week test is divided by the DKH content of one milliliter of alpha reef to tell us how many milliliters we need to add each week to make up for the amount consumed. This slide shows how much DKH is added by one milliliter of alpha reef to various tank sizes. My 30 gallon tank will add 0 0.057 DKH per milliliter added. So let's do the math. 1.8 DKH divided by 0 
equals 31.5 milliliters. We need to add 31.5 milliliters per week to make up for our tank's consumption. Since we're dosing per day, we need to divide that by 7. 31.5 milliliters divided by 7 equals 4.5 milliliters that need to be added every day. With this new information, we open the X1 app and select Plan on the bottom ribbon. Tap the plus button and enter Quick Plan and change total add to 4.5 milliliters per day. We'll also change it so that it adds in four increments. Our plan is successfully loaded and we see that at four different times through the day, the pump will add 1.1 to 1.2 milliliters of alpha reef. Our dosing pump is now set up to replace the calcium and alkalinity used by our corals in any given week. However, our corals continue to grow, and as they grow, they use more calcium and alkalinity. Therefore, we'll need to change the amount every so often to keep up with that growth. You can repeat the test we just did, but in my experience, it's usually easy enough to keep up with increased demand by increasing your dose by 10% or so every couple of months. Be sure to keep up with testing so you can keep your finger on the pulse of your tank's needs. In general, I test only for alkalinity. That's because Alpha Reef will add alkalinity and calcium in equal parts, and testing for calcium really isn't necessary. Alkalinity is also the more volatile of the two, and the one that is most likely to impact your coral health. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you found it useful, please consider a like and subscribe. Also comment below how much your tank is using on a weekly basis. It'll be interesting to compare.